Well, here's the thing. Whenever I see you with Pat Bradley, you Mm -hmm. are dressed to the nines, man. Yeah, I have to step my game up because he always come and fly. Why? Because y'all are. (laughs) That's Mr. Pocket. Well, either in studio or hitting the town. Yeah. One of the two. One of the two. Yeah. One time y'all called me on the town. Yeah. Somebody's in trouble. You sound like we hitting something. You were. (laughs) Y'all are out there. Uh, Shooter joins us now. Pat Bradley. 3HL 1045 is home. Pat, what up? How are you? I'm doing great. Sitting here at the airport, getting ready to uh, <laughs> to fly out. The mayor, Babs, and Slay Day. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Nothing, man. We need you. We need you here. We need to be doing the show from some bar and having a good time. <laughs> hey, you just let me know. I'm actually going to be in Nashville. Oh, sometime in June, early June. Okay. Well, that sounds like a good so, time, then, Shooter. <laughs> I'm giving everybody a warning right now. You got, you got a couple months to prepare. Wait, you're giving us a warning or like the whole city of Nashville a warning? I'm going to go with the whole city. Oh, whole city. <laughs> whole city. <laughs> All right, Shooter. Broadway. How, how surprised were you when this news came down? That Not just that Cal was leaving Kentucky. I mean, we all kind of dealt with that little storyline for a minute, but that he was going to Arkansas. Um, well, at first I was, I was definitely surprised. Yeah. And then – you know, I, st- I started thinking, and Coach Cal has a lot of history. You know, he's been coaching college basketball for five decades. 80, 89 was his first year at UMass. So he plays against Arkansas in November 94 wow. in the Springfield Classic. I was at that game. I had just committed to Arkansas. And he had Lou Rowe, Dana Dingle, Dante Bright. Lou so Rowe. next year we played them in the Sweet 16. And so he's always known – that Arkansas is a great program, and, you know, we've had our ups and downs. And then, so Nolan Richardson, who was my coach, he built his success off those Memphis guys. Ron Hurey, Todd Day, Dwight Stewart, Corey Beck. Yeah. So Cal takes the Memphis job. Cal says, and we had a great rivalry. We would play Memphis every year, and we had a great rivalry with them. Cal takes a job and says, "Uh uh-uh, no more. (laughs) <laughs> the Razorbacks are not playing in Memphis. Coach Richardson, I'm <laughs> I'm taking him as far away from Memphis as I can. So he understood how valuable of a job Arkansas is. And, you know, we, we all know the stories. I mean, listen, they're going to pay him $8 million, maybe more. I mean, that's yeah. tough to say no. And, and we all know kind of uh, the financial situation that Arkansas has. So, and Cal likes, he likes to shake hands. He likes to kiss babies. He likes the community situation. And that's what you have to do in a state of 3 million people, that uh, you're the number one show in town. Absolutely. So, listen now, Shooter, what does that say for the SEC? Like, it's, you know, when a guy like Musk leaves, who brought success there, um, back-to-back Elite Eights, you know, Sweet Sixteens, and success was there. Just didn't get over the hump as far as getting to the Final Four, but they've experienced what's the what the success looks like. Now, with him coming in and still challenging with the SEC, is this just a newfound energy you think this will be for Coach Cal and the SEC better be on the lookout? Because it's only one year removed as far as Arkansas right. being right up there challenging for the SEC regular season. Well, but that, that's the thing. So, like, we we know um, that we uh, – I'm seeing some of my boys at the, at the airport right now. <laughs> um, but we know that – I'm going to holler at you. All right. That's my guy. Yeah. That's my guy right there. That's a, see, this is this, see, this is what people don't see, Shooter. I'm, I'm, I'm telling these people, man, the authenticity that you're going to get with Shooter – it never <laughs> ever strays too far, man. It's always gonna be there. It ain't no different <laughs> hat you can put on. You are the shooter. This it, is part of being the shooter. It's also so funny, <laughs> like to not see you while we're talking with you and hear that New York accent and understand how Arkansas Ooh, you are. You I was careful. gonna Boston. say, talking about oh, Arkansas. Oh, Boston, yeah. Sorry, shooter. Sorry, shooter. Sorry, shooter. <laughs> no, that's oh, that's okay. I'll let it slide. No, that's that dude's <laughs> my uh, like my little brother. He's a college basketball coach right now, actually. But uh, play like, one of the things like I was saying. When, when Musk left, like, mm-hmm. you need somebody for the job that can keep, keep the momentum. I know there was a down year, but yeah. you've got to keep the momentum. You have to have somebody, and this is the three things I listed, <clears throat> somebody who's been in the battles, been in the wars, so you want to have you know, some, somebody who's coached in, in those competitive environments, right. a head coach. 
Then I felt like you needed to have somebody who understood the fan base. Like like I said, three million, they live and die by it. You gotta accept that. You gotta be able to go to the Razorback Rotary Clubs and Hot Springs and everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then and then thirdly, like and then you gotta be able to schmooze the billionaires, the millionaires and the hundred people in the the guy that gives ten dollars a mm-hmm. you know, ten dollars a month. Um and then you have to also be exciting because college basketball home court advantage you get 20,000 in Bud Walton Arena yeah you should be unbeatable at home and if you can be unbeatable at home you go you go undefeated at home oh man that's gravy right you go you go you can go 500 on the road and you're in the tournament so I thought those three things and somebody would be important and coach Cal obviously checks every box the reaction from the fan base. What is uh, what? What is uh, what are your true Arkansas people thinking? Everybody's in love with it. I mean, Coach Coach Cal. You know, like I said, he's been it, the favorite villain for Razorback fans. Um, you know, even going back to the '90s when we played them. You know, he was a brash, young, uh, cocky coach who won. When Kentucky came to town, when he was at Kentucky, um, the the games were legendary. As a matter of fact, I mean he he got two texts and kicked out of one game, and the place is going wild. You know, twenty thousand people <laughs> just, just loving it. So they were they always respected Cal, and they loved it, it, because here's the thing. I mean, if this is any fan base. You know, and that's why, like, when I was getting recruited, the thing that stood out to me, I told this story many times. Like, I went to Alabama-Arkansas football game in 94 on my recruiting trip. And the, I'm talking the first quarter, first thing that happens, some Arkansas fan punches an Alabama fan in the nose. Dude's blood's running down his face. And security kicked out the guy who got punched in the nose. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking – the South is different. Like they care about everything in, in when it comes to sports. And so I wanted to be a part of that. And I think the fan base is so excited because you got the face of, you know, college basketball. I mean, he's the, he's right now, <clears throat> he is the godfather yeah. um, of college basketball. Coach Cal is now I'm calling him old, but he, <laughs> you know, he is, he's got the most wins of any active coach right now. Um, he's one of, is it five or six active coaches who have a national championship? So, I mean, you get somebody, um, that, you know, hog fans want to love and, uh, we got somebody who wants to be loved. That's absolutely right. He definitely wants to be loved. Let me ask you this. Uh, Cal walks into the state and gets to Fayetteville. Who is the first person to call? Is it your guy, Nolan Richie? <laughs> no, I actually, I said no. I said no. I said no. I actually, I said no, on that. <laughs> um, no, I actually called Coach Richardson last night and was talking with him, and uh, you know, I said, "Could you ever believe? Could you believe we we were talking about this twenty years ago, thirty years ago?" Coach Cal would be he did he said, "Man, I just I, you know I can't believe it." But coaches, I told him this, and and I'm gonna tell Coach Cal this. My favorite part of this whole thing is Coach Calipari is going to be walking onto Coach Nolan Richardson court <laughs> to coach games. Right. I go, Coach, <laughs> that's the ultimate right there. Yeah. He's going to be coaching. He's going to be coaching on your court. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> what? what do you, Pat Riley with us, uh, Shooter. What, what do you think about the Kentucky uh, angle? Like, uh, what, what are we looking out at, at there in terms of uh, who who that next guy might be? Well, I, I think, you know, we all heard all the names, and Kentucky is that school where they they have every resource and, and they love it. And, that, I mean, that's their, it's in their blood. So I thought Coach Oates would, would take it. I, that's what I thought, and I hadn't talked to him at all, and I wouldn't really ask him. I don't, I don't even want to kind of get in that Yeah, just because he's, you know, got a job in a SEC school. Um, you know, I feel like Coach Pearl is – I mean, the reason why we're talking about these guys is because they're so successful. Right. Um, 
you know, I feel like Coach Pearl has just really found a home. Like, I don't know. I, and you guys, I don't know what you guys think, but, like, there's something to be said for, I mean, you're making $4 million, maybe $5 million. The whole place loves you. You could have a statue outside the arena. Like, Scott Drew's name comes up. I mean, yeah. he did arguably the greatest coaching job in whatever, getting Baylor National Championship where they were. Like, mm. do you leave that? Right. Like, you've got enough money. you got enough love. you got enough everything. So, you can win. I don't know. So, I, I mean, you guys, I don't know what you guys' thoughts are. Like, the only other thing is, is that your dream job, you know? Like, right. I've always dreamed about coaching at UCLA or Kentucky mm-hmm. or Kansas or whatever. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, at a, at a true blue blood. Right. I'll tell you, uh, I read Mike DeCourcy has written for the Sporting News forever. He he put out, like, three – He's he called them, like, legitimate names as opposed to, like – you mentioned Nate Oates, who had a had a statement that he released that he's staying. Jay Wright said it pretty definitively on the broadcast last night. Dan Hurley did, too. Uh, he mentioned Mark Pope at BYU, who obviously played there. Sean Miller at Xavier. And he mentioned Rick Patino, St. John's. Yeah, I like it. I would love Patino. I mean, just because I'm a, I am love drama. You know, I'm a big – I used to watch soap operas. When I say – Sick during uh, grade school. I used to watch soap operas all day. <laughs> Gen- I used to watch General Hospital. So I love drama. Sean Miller is like, dude was at Arizona. Like he, mm-hmm. like, he can handle that job. I think, um, because you go to Kentucky to win national championships. That you know, you think about the last coaches there outside of Coach Gillespie, who you know had, you know, was had issues, obviously. Yeah, but Tubby, Patino, Eddie Sutton, who leaves Arkansas to go to Kentucky, um, but you go there to win championships, and and Sean Miller has been he's been at the top of the mountain. Just you know, obviously, how difficult it is a bounce here, a bounce there, and you're a champion or you're not. Outside of last night's game, where that was right. just domination, but I think he would be great. Good boy, Sean Miller. Sean Miller not a recruit too. Mm-hmm. And and I think that was a great point too. Like he can handle yeah. the job because there's so much that goes into it. So much. Like you're basically leading the state. Yeah. Screw the governor. Yeah. Like you're yeah. the head, you're the head of the well, Commonwealth. Well, and I think Coach I mean, Cal a- kind of felt that. Yeah, for sure. Late in his tenure there, like and and didn't like it. Well, Babs, I always thought he would get into politics. Yeah. After coaching, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> and and he still could. I mean, he's. Cal is truly, um, you know, the only thing with him is I know he wants his son, Brad, who was on the Vandy staff, who you guys know. I, I really think he wanted to have his son with him coaching. And uh, so I, I, I think that's a, a, a big deal for him. So I expect Brad to, you know, kind of be with him in Fayetteville. So, but I, I do think he's, like, he is a community guy. Like, he cares. I mean, he's been... First of all, the, the whole one and done thing was, you know, he's the the guy, the poster boy for one and done. But the idea of one and done was because he felt like these kids should earn money, money. when they are valuable, and and that was sort of like forward thinking at the time. But you know, he's a socially aware guy, mm-hmm. and um, and and so he he understands different. I mean, he could. You know how it is, Slay. You know, certain guys can roll into any group and they yeah. can fit in. And he's yeah. one of them. Yeah. He <laughs> that's, that's a good way to describe mm-hmm. him. He yep. adapts well down here. Like, he got a yeah. home down here and he fits right in in Nashville. Yeah. You never know it. Right. So, yeah. so, so the shooter in June, you're coming. That's right. I'll be here, buddy. Hey, <laughs> put, put a four seat. Put a four seat on there for me. <laughs> we got a mic ready we for got you, you bro. <laughs> hey, thanks for checking in, man. Appreciate <laughs> you. Appreciate it, bro. Love you guys. Peace.